Good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Valhalla. Time to mix drinks and change lives and all that. Indeed. Yeah. That is what they tell us we do, and that is what we do. I'm feeling just a little scratchy tonight. Uh, yeah, we'll be okay. I was uh, talking with a bit... I had this conversation with uh, Morgan Lorray over the weekend, or the convention weekend of... Oh, so you stream? How's the, that for your voice? Oh, I'm just chugging tea the entire time. Uh, and that's what I'll be doing tonight. We were, uh, we were joking mm -hmm. before uh, going live, because uh, you've been playing some more Disco Elysium in the off time. I have. It's Enjoy very good. Enjoying that. Uh, and I've come to realize that, you know, Harry would definitely fall for a cryptocurrency scheme. He'd be can, right in there. I can, I can only see... He probably would. The only way I could not see him doing it is if he doesn't really understand technology enough to fall for it. I think that's really true for contemporary to the game, Harry, who has forgotten most of everything. And even then, you could probably talk him into it if you tried. How do you computer? To computer. He's it's like, what is this? It's like, what's well, a computer? Yeah, what's that? I don't, I don't remember anything. Yeah, I, I do recall a. Um, uh, have you done the vision quest part of the game? Uh, yeah, that so you get a dream on like night three, All right. re related to the. Uh, political access that you oh, are oh, most aligned to. I'm, I'm going around sniffing people, trying to suss out if they're communists. I'm doing okay. that in the minute at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, on day three. Because I believe if you go uh, the more capitalist, I'm forgetting the uh, term in game for it. Ultra, mm -hmm. ultra liberal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If you go that route, uh, then you get super duper rich off of a bunch of net off off of having a high net worth hmm. and no actual cash in your pocket. Hmm. So this is seeming highly likely. P people will describe uh, going to the moon and Harry will picture that perfectly with his inland empire. And he'll be very, he'll be sorely disappointed when he figures out what that actually entails. Hmm. It, it's too plausible. <laughs> For dear sweet Harry. Yeah. I'm forgetting exactly where we left left off last week. I think we basically just had our Christmas time. Uh, and we're enjoying uh, time with friends. Mm-hmm. Night of the ID scratchers. Rent's what? going up, I see. Hmm. You, rent's due. Make sure you have uh, 10k. Uh, we have 40% of that. Alright, it's not too bad. Have a very nice day. Uh, not with that Not with that rent, I'm not. <laughs> there are cats in heat outside. I'd have blue balls if I still had any. Good blue balls and uh, spay and neuter joke. Exactly. All right, let's get this movie poster before we forget. The beloved police mockumentary. I see. It's just a bunch bunch of bouncers. Uh, it's the plot of Superbad for, told from the other side. Yep, there you go. We'll do a knock. Come on. Button go. Yeah. Well, that's new here. Uh, just some news article, looks like. Tyler the Brain tired after... Tired of name change requests. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima project. One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how many people ask Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. Oh, boy. Wow, rude. I thought this was going to be like, what? what's gender when you don't have a body? Mm-hmm. 
or and it's all just brain chemistry. I know people try to be funny, but I wouldn't change my name for a punchline, Taylor told the AI team. AE team. I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just won't be part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. You've got one shot, one opportunity. No one else gets to make this joke. Come, yep. come on. Come on, Taylor. Come on, Brian. <laughs> Taylor is currently looking at their chances of becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. I see. Taylor! Taylor! <laughs> That's a very, like, cheers expression. Taylor! Oh, boy. Parliament discusses anime influence by Lana Smitty. Oh, no. During an, un uh, during an unusual meeting held in Parliament today, delegates discuss the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth. Trash! A representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting, If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it! I'd choke them with my own advanced hands! Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing on so much money into the local market, Yamake, a producer, told the Augmented Die during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Ah, uh, yes, important topics and all. This is this is our, our <sighs> local government at work, folks. Yamake. Fucking, is that, is that a reference to the Wake Up Girls guy? Maybe. Let's see. Is, is that his nickname? Fucking the one, the one who's the one who's always yammering on about how he's going to do good and no one likes him. Yeah, he, he's the one trying to fix anime and like crowdfund and scam a bunch of people. Ah, yeah, that one. All right, let's see. No, not that one. That one. <laughs> the the guy over in Japan doing this. Yeah. I'll continue while you're doing research. Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. Members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Morsi city sector were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at a site of a protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They can't take... They know they can't t take us down in the streets, so they use protesters as a shield, and we had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a phone conversation. They are currently detained and waiting trial. The formal charges are unknown so far. You were saying? I didn't realize Christine Love was canon to the setting. Isn't she a game developer? She's many things. <laughs> yeah, no, Christine Love's games are uh, great. I, I've watched a let's play of uh, Lady Killer in a Bind uh, and played uh, Analog Hate Story. Loved that. Destroyed me. I've recommended them to uh, Megan, actually, because I think she would enjoy them. Yeah, I, ha I have a couple of them, and they are on my uh, short list for things to stream on here at some point. Uh, cool. Incidentally, I, I don't think uh, Yutaka Yam Yam Yamamoto has a specific nickname, but... Uh, what, what, I don't know. What the, his name sounds similar enough to, to Yutaka that I think they are making fun of him specifically. Yeah, it was Yamake. Yamake. Yeah. That's close. Yeah, that's close enough. I think if they're not making fun of him specifically, he was definitely on their mind because he's an obnoxious loudmouth and no one likes him. I think so. I think so. Yeah, because their name coming into mind is Yoshi P, and that's a fire. F that's Final Fantasy fourteen guy. Yeah, I think so, and I think people like him, so... Yeah, no, he's... Them. He, he's well-respected. He, he, he might be the last well-respected person over at Square Enix. <laughs> <sighs> Carrying on. Uh, we're off to work, then. Go to work. Tuesday, December 25th, or 27th. Uh, I'll take uh, Jill to start. All right. I think. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. But we just... Isn't that a bit too soon? Why? Did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean, didn't we just have... Never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great! And Gil? 
He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back. See? So you're coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... I told you. We're depressing people. We are depressing people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. And you're just doing this now? I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First, First of all... Yeah. Oh, sure, you go ahead. All right. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take it out all, take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Gabby. Oh boy. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Uh, hmm. The 31st is written in a different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when would you when would you be here in relatively free. So I told her about the party. Gil? I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. But as established, we are depressing people and have nothing going on in our lives. Yep. But, boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? B because I don't really want to face Gabby again. <laughs> It'll be awkward. Can't do awkward. Uh, now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never come back and apologize after all these years? Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake, and it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to ever meet again, she'd break up with me. So then. I, and I... Don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Well, Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby's in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that, and... Jill, you idiot! Baka! Eh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? I, I can hear you just grabbing her by the shoulders and shaking her. This is, this is a lapel shaker for sure. Yeah. If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Surprised, Lipsius. Armitage? City hacker. Right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. Uh, but now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret? Which do you pick? I mean, it's more like five days of fear. It's the anticipation. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hated feeling like that. I won't run away this time. I mustn't run away this time. <laughs> Good, because I would would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. We have good friends. Mm. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Box. I wonder if we ever unlocked a new one. 
How do we unlock all those ones? It's a good question. Time to mix drinks and change lives. We bought one, and that's how we got, like, love as a drug. That mm -hmm. was. Seriously, though, it's the second note that has stirred such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one was from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not, I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. You have a lot of faith in this. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Oopsies. Happy holidays! Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard that they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. That ellipsis is doing a lot of work. <laughs> hmm. Sorry for that outburst. No, it's fine. Still, you you go be uh, you go be happy and jovial, gift giver. I do like that blush expression though. It's it's good. It's strong. Why you look so happy? I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um. Anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Probably. Sure. And cobalt velvet for Stella. All right. Uh, three. I'm actually just gonna make this twice the size. All on the rocks. Mixed cobalt velvet. We we gotta start upselling. Uh, the patrons. Make that, make that money. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too. Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How's she been lately? You know what the broken bones. She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. Like a cat. What about her eye? Eye? You're right. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Oh, hers. Sorry. Ahem, it'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. I did just flash to, uh, eye the Somnium files. <laughs> it's, uh, it's eyes all the way down. There's the eye again. Oh, boy. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show up, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot with Say when Say was a teen. Was she a uh, filthy delinquent? S squatting out front of the combini? Very possible. Her mom's clinic was about to close. Then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. Mm. She didn't mention she used to smoke, actually. Mm. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Mm. Once you get this, she's a fast learner. But schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. Hmm. 
<laughs> Foul mouth, short fused, always frowning. Total opposite of how she is now. I'm I'm trying to picture that, and it's not coming to. No. Coming from time to time, I from time to time I see that old look across her face, and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self, though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. I've heard that before. From uh, Miss Blue Fairy. But not the Blue Fairy, because uh, that's not cold. I'm just gonna go through a couple of these. Uh, on the rocks, on the rocks, on the rocks. Because I'm forgetting what we normally serve. Sweet and Moonblast. All right. Six. Uh, Pack Delta. Plargy. Two Karma Train. All the way up to the brim. Yep. All on the rocks and blended. Moonblast. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Stay asks for, you know? Now you mention it. You know, back when Say reappeared, it seemed like she. It seems that she came here first. Oh, yeah, she told me that. Glad she found a familiar face after all that chaos. Did she tell you we had a talk at the back of the bar? You did? Well, it's not... It's nothing important, but... She was devastated, you know? She was afraid, tired. It hit me quite hard. Not not only after seeing her covered in bandages, but also after seeing her so cheerful before. Guess I should be thanking you, then. You what? When I met with her, she told me you calmed her down quite a bit. I did? I'm guessing with all that was going on, the desire to not worry me weighed on her. It is ha it's happened before. So it's good there was someone else for her to share her stress with. Thanks. Um, sure. I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm at the lower parts of the city? Hmm? Change the topic. I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Hmm. I wonder if they mean cat boomer because racism, or cat boomer as like a sign of classism. Like, if it's a procedure only the rich can get. Hmm. And that's all they know to target her? Possible. It could just be the drills, though. Yeah. <laughs> Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner, maybe more secure, but it's also too... sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel their people living. And the little one. And especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. That's the uh, subway gases. <laughs> It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. I can grab say. Okay. Uh, if you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they 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 either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they they're more they're also more likely to talk to you. Talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that two. But I just want one. I'm asking for one for me, adding one to your order. Oh, say. Oh, that, right. Two beers for the girls. There we go. One, two. I haven't served a big beer in a while. I, I wonder how um, Donovan's doing since he uh, 
quit his job? That's a good question. We haven't seen him again. Well. He's in a happier place, surely. <laughs> Somewhere he actually wants to be, hopefully. Somewhere far from us. Here. Thank you. Thanks. See, say, you should have seen the kids after you left. It changes a bit, the, uh, the words. Yes. They are all playing with the toys you picked out. You nailed it again this year. They are all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Where's Auntie Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? Oh, never mind. I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry. They, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, they, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. Dogs. Not, nani? The little guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Oh, right. She was a vet. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. We're, we'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. If you're not busy again. Sure, it's better than depressing myself my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. Hey, that doesn't come up until March. It's fine. That's... I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. And tag out. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people that were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy, for say. Uh, let's say. Classy drinks. Mercury Blast. Looks classy. Yeah. And pricey. Yep. It's only in the last week where I'm... Really, being, really pushing it. Yeah, where I'm trying to maximize the money. It's for the best. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Still came in quite a cheery... Came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh, yeah! Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got it into her head that be by being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. You know, there are crazier uh, things people say about uh, December 25th. Hmm. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation. Well, the story says that Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit. Just and exorcised that, the demon. And that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. Heh. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young... Uh-oh. <laughs> Still mentioned you... She's worried about you going back to your old ways, quote unquote. Something about a rough period when you were angry or something. Oh, that. Sweat drop. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that, though. 
Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Expected as much. Told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Something bubbly for a bubbly girl. Blame her. Bubbly drinks. Yep. Open wide. Hope you like booze. Yeah. All aged and mixed. It is helpful that they are like generally ordered in uh, cheapest to most expensive. So whatever's at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Here. Yeah, whatever's the last thing on the list is, tends to be the priciest. Bubbly bubbly. Hey, Jill, want to know how Stella got her eye? Huh? I feel you shouldn't tell me that. Hmm. She told you my story. Means she likes you enough. It's fine. It's also payback. <laughs> you remember when I told you one night saved me from another? Well, it's about the other one. Apparently he was running away after doing something. Dunno. We were at the park and he held us hostage. At one point, they tried to approach and he just... Long pause. Hmm. He gouged Stella's eye out. Ooh. Surprised ellipsis. I tried to stop him, but he just went and kicked me. I still remember that kick. I could feel my ribs breaking. There was pain in places I didn't know could feel pain. From time to time, I still relive that day. Kicking my torso, Stella screams, it's... It's chilling. I briefly regained consciousness after the kick, which I felt like I was being lifted. The white knight that attacked us was on the floor, not moving. I was on another white knight's shoulders. He took his helmet off and put it on and anguished Stella. I passed out when I came to. I was in a hospital. Apparently the kick ruptured a couple of organs and I was put on emergency care. I woke up because Stella was punching my leg telling me to wake up. Stella. Mm, damn. Just... Damn. What made you bring this up? I bring this up because that guy that was here last time I came... I think he's the uh, one that saved us. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think who that was too. I, I know where this is going, actually, but I'm trying to remember... Uh, what scene that... Okay. No fucking way, Virgilio? <laughs> really? That guy? Oh boy. I don't believe it. What made you think that? Sure, more pounds in years, but I'm pretty sure it's him. There's something about his face I just can't dismiss. It might be the giant question mark tattoo. Mm. Or it, it could just be henna, but... Mm. I'd like to see him again. Do you know how? Do you know the Steampunk Museum? Ask for Virgilio there. He's the janitor. Gotcha. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll go take my break, Gil. Sure. Yeah. So we're getting into parts of the game that I haven't seen before. Uh, oh, really? I, I, th I think I screwed up something in this path. Ah, I, I, I probably upset Virgilio at some point. Um, he seems very... He see, that seems like the natural inclination to have, yeah. so... I wonder if I left food for four. Okay, I'm here. Ellipses. Um, Dorothy? Ellipses. You won't get through the bar any time. You can stop walking. Oh, she just... <laughs> huh? Ah, honey. Just one of those uh, robots are like... A a Roomba. Yep. A, a Roomba just trying to knock, knock. 
Can I go through the wall? You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual. Us. It all. Usual. All. Oh. The, the usual. It's broken. I wonder what's wrong with her, though. Uh, so, usually she's asking for something sweet and girly, but uh, it sounded like piano wood. That's sweet and happy. Sounds right. It'll probably be fine either way. Sometimes I don't uh, read ahead and check what the correct answer <laughs> is. Here. This is nice. 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 Did you get a new tongue installed or something? Hmm. Nice? Ice 9? That's a different game. Okay, you're okay. freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. Do you know what's real? How do you know what's real? Oh, boy. How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? This really is turning into an Ushikoshi game. What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? And those and ponderings the... brought you to to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in a bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a... This fucking word. Solf... Solipsic? Sol Solipsistic. Solipsistic crisis of sorts? Right, I mean. Solip what? Solipsism. The theory that the self is the only thing that one can that can be known to exist. Oh, I remember this uh, philosophy 101 class. Hmm. Was this Kant? Don't recall. See, that's another thing right there. That word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone, and ipsy means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decided, hey, let's make this noise mean this. That's generally what ends up happening. Yeah. The evolution of language. All the freaking slang... The the zoomers are using now. Doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time. They've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just semantic sa sanitation. S satiation. Semantic satiation. Stop making up words, honey. I agree, Dorothy. And then there's this counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? Well, you were trying to walk through it just a minute ago. Mm. It is. Please stop tapping it. <laughs> Hold on, just making sure. Mm -hmm. I should make her a drink. Or at least I'll have something to throw at her. Hmm. Doesn't seem to matter what we serve here. Here. Have some rum. That's expensive. Exactly. Stop tapping Stop. the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. Uh, so let's start this from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with, m with my guardian. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. Mm. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer something, or thinking it has a body? Mm-hmm. 
What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose stream? What tells me? What tells me you're? Blah, 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 blah. What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination, or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's human. Lipsy. I've been there, Dorothy. I am the main character of the universe. You don't. <laughs> You don't get to say those things. I'm the main character. Me, Jackson, here, saying here, saying these words. I'm the main <laughs> character. That existential doubt and, and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack that gave me a rush of adrenaline so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. How did you get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Train in the World. One of my favorites. At one point, I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things. A story and its characters. And I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's why I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Heh, <laughs> I like it. Nothing matters versus nothing matters. Hmm. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay, then. <laughs> nothing matters. Why did you throw it at your head? To feel something you made. And? It burns and itches a bit. Yeah, it'll, get, it'll be a bit sticky. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana's... Uh, oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. Oh, I can take Mario. Right. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get her. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here, please. It's a big package. Really, Dorothy? You're not going to comment on? <laughs> too, too, too obvious. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, it'll maybe need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. <sighs> Dorothy's being extremely polite. <laughs> Surprise. Hey, honey. She resisted as long as she could. Yep. Hmm. The big package had a big wiener inside. And of course, Jill is 12. What will your boss do with such a thing? <laughs> I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it? Honey. Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. Stop. St st stop. Maybe you could prepare some right now? What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? I don't. <laughs> Seriously, Jill. She's the one. <laughs> She's the one making jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know that if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. There's a right and wrong way to prepare a wiener. Mm. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. It's-a me, Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. You might have another delivery, you know? This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. 
A sunshine cloud for Mario. I'm asking it for it by name. Four. Um, two, three, four. Optional karma train to say. Oh boy. There we um, go. The rocks and blended. Sunshine cloud. Here. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Hey, um. Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Uh huh. Yeah, Dorothy. Why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way, Lilum? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with liking, liking women, but... <laughs> oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was just thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. It really is. Oh. That made me happy, and... I don't know what fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Mm, glad, to, glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Don't you mean booty calls? <laughs> oh, six to one, half a dozen to the other. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. And we can switch again. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys. It's clear. You've made yourself very clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the Motor District? I spend all my free time in the Motor District, actually. Why? Have you met Christine Love? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. You could be a sleeper agent. <laughs> the, the Valhalla agent. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi-legal league going on there. This raises further, further questions. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. Just a whole laundry list of, uh... The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. <laughs> Without the cops involved, I see. Ir irony of ironies. Huh. Have you heard about the biker called Christine Love? Miss Love? Of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Are you saying no one plays her games? Rude. Or more people should be playing her games? Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So her gang is just there menacingly doing their own thing not bothering anyone mm. oh do you want anything else i'll have a piano man all right piano man from mario do you wonder what they're uh trying to imply there these people over here are happy doing their own thing not bothering anyone maybe you should just leave them be Probably. Piano Man. Here. Yeah, this is nice. Hey, you two an item? <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? You work with this hunk of a man and you don't feel the least bit tempted? With fuck by over there? Fuck no. <laughs> How can you be so calm with his smell so close to you? Ever heard the expression, his pass is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? 
Because his pass is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. If he even has a pass at all, and I'm having my doubts lately. Are you implying he's not good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Gil is good game. He's not bad looking. He's a gentleman. He's always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. You don't have to marry him. Just push into a closet. Eh, not interested. You annoy me, bartender. You don't see what you have right in front of you. Again, bisexual. Likes men in theory, but... <laughs> I'm out! Please come again. Ah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. This is the right tone you have to take with him. Yep. Ellipses. Mm. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Wow, hateful. <laughs> hey! They brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. <laughs> it's a gift for my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> uh, boss is offering me some of her wiener. Yep. That's a new one. Have some pocket money and have excuses. <laughs> She's just been uh, tipping us under the table this entire game. Pretty and just much. like, here, just shoves the money in our hands. Total fun. All right. Today's total transfer, it's 2,000, so we, we were doing things correctly. Yep. There we go. We're much closer now. Jill wonders if Maneki Nekos actually bring luck. Buy, buy one to prevent her from getting distracted. Distract. Maneki Neki Neko is a thing to say on a fine Hawaiian Christmas day. Nice. Uh, you've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> Wiener. Uh, There's Neko. the top. But its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Oh, very nice. Day. I think that. No, that's I the Alex so. doll. Oh, there up, he is. Up, up on the right, yeah. There he is. There we are. All right, what do we have? Let's check the boards first. Small warrior turns. Yuri, 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 new season. It's finally here! Thank you, based god. I think we read this one. I, we read a news report about it. I don't oh, think we okay. read a board. All right. I can't believe I'm alive for this day. Thank you, base god. All boards report in. What other boards, you idiot? Nice, more stupid Moe blobs. Yeah. YY gets a new season, but the actual best YY is still up in the air. My internet service gets cut off tomorrow because I can't afford it anymore. Wake me up! You hunk show, maybe? Get a job, you stupid neat. Oh god, here we go. Prepare hot cocoa, sit in comfy couch, put on my favorite mega Christmas sweater, see snow falling outside, turn on the heater, get my blanket, watch glorious YY, and fall asleep when it ends. I am the comfy. I wish I was as comfy. Crying, Have work. Uh, crying emoticon. Have work tomorrow. Enjoy the Euros for me, Danger You. It's their eyes closed. Interesting that Danger You has red text, not green text. Hmm. Sounds cute. For nerds, maybe. I didn't ask for Yuri undertones. No, I asked for full-on hardcore Yuri. What is this undertone shit? My coffee maker has one job. It makes coffee. <laughs> I asked for Yuri. Give me Yuri. That bar called Valhalla. Is it any is good? It? I need to, a place to unwind after work. Work. Normie's taking over there, huh? Her, everyone is a neat, just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? 
I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you already have a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Nah, I face? just heard... <laughs> nah, I just heard from the distance. So, is that a no? Kind of. Hey, if you're going there to just to chat... I just want a place to chill a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think I'm going there next week then. Sounds good enough for me. So I was closed. So I'm full of myself? You are. Well, Did if we they're going... Mo- yeah. Yeah, Did we read that Model Warriors one? I, I think so, because that's the one where she's like... Is your lip trembling? No. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I do remember that one. I heard you talking shit about my waifu. Ah. <sighs> so that one go by. Uh, okay. First space colony to develop. First space colony plans to develop <laughs> its own army. Okay. Even, even though space was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. Uh huh. First space colony, Shin Outer Paradise is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from the notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll have, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Do not let the outer, par- outer paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Alice Rabbit is in space, too? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. They're trying to legalize... Uh, re-legalize spa- space slavery. Women Mary's anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised by Lana Smithy. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think how mundane it's become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces. Thanks to new technology, the traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. The pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma! Wanna marry me? I can't. You can't marry your own son. That's... The correct answer there, Jill. Uh, don't ask Gigi about her uh, tuxedo mask cutout. <laughs> yeah, the final remaster leads the video game charts. In the newest remaster of 2016's Yik, a postmodern RPG, opens the charts this week with 3.5 million copies shipped li- on its launch day. Other titles include this week include the new release of Hatsune Miku Project R Remaster and the, and the Sting's Face Remastered. Sting's Face. Hmm. Full chart, including lifetime sales. Yet Final Remaster, 3.5 million. New Hatsune Miku Project uh, Trademark Remaster, 1.5 million. New Sting's Face rem- Remastered. 950k. New Water Pro Wrestling G. 50k, 950k. Dang it, Ron Paul. 400, 1.2 mil. That's the third final this year. Is the Stinks Face one supposed to be a riff on uh, Steins Gate and all those ones that have an arbitrary uh, semicolon in the middle? That that is sounding like it. I didn't see I didn't see the arbitrary semicolon. Yeah, the uh, Science Adventure games. Hmm. I do have some of those. Again, lengthy visual novels. Yep. Dang it, dang it, wrong Paul. Just sounds like a dang good time. It. Dang it, wrong Paul. <laughs> uh, All right. Off to work. Work, work, work. Wednesday, Wednesday. December twenty eighth. Shall it. I be Jill? Yeah, let's switch off. All right. Good evening. Ah, Jill. I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers. It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the dude? Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. <laughs> See where your head's at. I'll be back Got in a bit. 
Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Mm, greetings. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Doesn't stick around long enough for his portrait to load in. Yep. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise? Let's just keep it at whatever the drone, whatever drone story heard. Right. That noise got annoying after a while, I must say. Mm. It's just one of those say noises that you turn tune out. Mm. So it remained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Distant explosions all night. Interesting. So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now, get me a Mars Blast. A Mars Blast for the guy that wouldn't come back. Twice. Mm. Ah, Chief Skate. Yeah, he's not gonna get us any extra. I, th I think it's like coded to not give us any extra money, even if we. Make uh, it a big one? Even if we make it a big one. Asshole. Here you go. Well, you didn't mess it up. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, go, mm -hmm. you. Okay. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Uh, most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. You're a scrawny bitch. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. Mm. <laughs> I can fight dirty. <laughs> Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. I kill people in a civilized manner. With knives. I'm a good boy. It would be, be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong. There are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. Yeah, you have everyone uh, coming in asking for girly and sweet drinks. Yep. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. You know, I suggest you try a suplex next time. It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this suplex thing. Right. <laughs> Excuse Bless me. You. Let's give Ingram a suplex. Wow, that sounded weird. No, he deserves it. Very true. Poor Bronson. Nope. Not that one. Three, one, two, three. <sighs> On the rocks and next. A suplex for Ingram. Here. Good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, Mr. Call me Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I need to look for a specific file at. Hmm. Did you perhaps go through the Nano Machine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with Nano Machine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when there have no means to track you or your activity. Yeah, I bet it helps not having uh, tiny robots in your bloodstream. Yeah. I see.
How does the expunge work? You line a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. Mm. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, and your gums, and your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. Let's give him a gut punch. Again, that doesn't sound right. And yet. And yet. Training, optional comma train. Sure. Aged. Gut punch. Here. Yeah, I love these. It looks like it looks different from yours, though. I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's this antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all the other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of the enhance enhancements? Were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. Mm. You know, you lose an arm and you get replaced. Exactly. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come, please come again. Don't count on it. He says for the third time. <laughs> yep. You said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Oh, Jamie, you poor fool. Uh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Right. And I'll take him. Maybe you've caught him on a bad day. Nah, I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Yeah. Maybe the first time it was a bad day. The second time, that's yep. on him. Yeah. Oddly enough, that guy tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Something. Someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood, too. A bad touch for Alma. Eight years old. Works like a charm. Alright, um, one, two, one, two. All on the rocks, and mixed. Bad touch. Here. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. So what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today, my sister was supposed to move to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of the parking lot. And to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the, for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because of the angst it would make her jump onto the highway. So Ava comes and says, Then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. This is some family drama. Yep. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but... I've been laughing for an hour. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? Just like seeing bitches get put in their place. She and I used to be the closest friend when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. I even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. Teenagers. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference and all. 
But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was the day she invited her friends to the house, and I, and I went to ask her for something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if, asked if I was her sister. And she said she had no little sisters. Ouch. I think that was the moment it finally broke the pedestal I held around. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off until finally we reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey, not 40 years. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. So aside from destroying any ad admiration I held for her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But enough about me. How are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dead girf my ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem, then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a Brantini, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Right. Brantini, alright. Brantini. Uh, power delta, three, six, and one, oh. one two comma train, all age, and next Brantini. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! Ooh. Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew up disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick, sick about leaving her baby kid, baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against every everything she held in, held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe, I can lift your sweater. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Enough? Shit. Inside voice, Joe. Peace out. Er, I mean... Get made a worse mistake there. I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must be, must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? Right. Beer. Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? Oh, mixed. Big beer for Elena. Here. Thanks. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister in law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. 
I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was... She was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl a chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I gotta take my break. Alright. Wah, you were here? You were quite absorbed in your conversation just now. Javen even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Anyways, call me if anything comes up. I was busy being possessed. <laughs> All so. right, should we should we call it a a, a a night for this week? Possibly. Okay. Uh, there we go. Another. <sighs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, reasonable enough to call there. Yeah. Bit of a shorter stream. I'm alright with that. Uh what have we got going on today? Did we have, Did we have a new follower come in? Not sure. Uh at some point no, that's that's an old uh follower message that's just saying there. Okay. I mean clean up some OBS uh in Twitch queue settings then. Uh who, let's see. As far as rating things go. Uh, got fame. Uh there's uh Chris Lamont live, Kyle Phillips live, Faye Mata playing uh that uh not Nickelodeon but the Warner Brothers uh yes. fighting game. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Go see uh yeah, Bugs Bunny fighting Wonder Woman, it looks like. Exactly. That's not to like. Yeah, that sounds good. So what what do we have coming this week? I think I think uh Andrew and Steph are gonna stream tomorrow on the Wednesday slot. And I, th and I think Jet has plans to stream again. Possibly this week, but I, I don't think we got a hard answer there. Alright. New episode of the podcast on Friday. I think it's uh Josie and the I'm going to keep saying Josie and the Pussycats, but I know that's <laughs> wrong. Uh, Josie and the Tiger and the Fish. Mm. Uh, t -t 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 uh, and then Saturday and uh, Sunday, probably, probably nothing happening then. And then back to me on uh, Monday. And we'll, yep. we'll probably stick with uh, Fire Emblem for a while yet. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank you. We'll uh, catch you next time. Indeed. See ya. Good night.